right, guys, let's take a look at this example. As you can see, this is from section 8.2 homework, question number 12, and the problem number is 8.2.23. So this one is talking about a researcher studying public opinion of proposed social security changes obtains a random sample of 30 adult Americans and ask them whether or not they support the proposed changes, okay? To say that the distribution of the sample proportion of adults who respond yes is approximately normal, how many more adult Americans does the researcher need to sample in the following cases? So we know that they have a random sample of 30 adult Americans, but they're basically saying if we want um, this distribution to be approximately normal, how many more adult Americans do we need? So we already have 30, but we need more. And based on that, um, you know, they're telling us what the percentage is going to be. So they're telling us 50%, 15% of all adult Americans support the changes. And this is, of course, coming from, you know, this random sample of 30 people. And 20% of all adult Americans support the changes. So you've got part A and B with two different percentages. So what you're basically doing here is you're trying to find the n value. What should your sample size be so that your distribution will be approximately normal? So normally, you know, when we are trying to check and see if a distribution is normal, we use this formula where you take n, which is your sample size, p, which is your um, proportion, um, and then the one minus p. And the idea is when you multiply these three numbers together, that number has to be either greater than or equal to 10. So we are going to rewrite this formula because we already know the P value, that's the 15% and 20% from parts A and B. Um, and the only other number we don't know is N, which is what we're trying to find because we wanna know how many more adult Americans should the researcher add so that you know they can have a normal distribution. So the first thing you're going to do is just basic, simple um, you know, um, algebra. So as you can see, we are multiplying n with p and 1 minus p. But since we want to get n by itself, what you're basically going to do is divide both sides of this um, inequality. Or you, know, you can treat it as an equation if you like. Um, so if you want it, instead of writing this as greater than equal to, you can write it just as equal to for now You know, while we're going through these calculations. But the idea is since we want to get n by itself, you will go ahead and divide by p and one minus p. So we'll divide both sides of our inequality here by p times one minus p. And that will basically you know, get rid of p on the top, one minus p on the top, and leave us behind just with the n value. So now you will end up with n equals, and I'm just converting this to an equation for now, uh, 10 on the top, and then p times one minus p on the bottom, and this is what you're going to use for parts um, A and B. So let's see, in part A, they're telling us it's 15% of all adults. So when we say 15%, of course, as a decimal, that comes out to be 0 0.15. You're just moving your decimal two places to the left, or you can divide 15 by 100 and come up with 0 0.15. So now when we put it in this formula, you have 10 on the top, that would be 0 0.15 and then times one minus 0 0.15 on the denominator. So let's go ahead and clean that up. So I'll just open up my calculator here. Alrighty, so the first thing we're going to do is one minus 0 0.15. And you can see that comes out to be 0.85. And then you're multiplying that with 0 0.15. And you can see that number comes out to be, and that's of course on our denominator. So that comes out to be 0 0.1275. So now we're going to take um, our 10 and divide it by this number. So I'm just gonna use the memory uh, plus function so that you know I don't have to type the number in. And let's just clear this out. And then we're going to do 10 divided by, and then I'm just going to recall my memory. So you can see this is giving me 10 divided by 0 0.1275. And as you can see, this is coming out to be approximately 78.4313. 
Uh, let's move this guy a little bit to the right. All righty, so this number is giving us approximately 78.4, uh, so I'm just gonna round it to 78 people. Um, now that is for the total um, you know, uh, population, but remember, sorry, uh, for the study, but we already have a random sample of 30 people. So basically you can subtract that number from here and we're going to say 78 minus 30, which will of course end up giving us 48 people or 48 adult Americans that we need. Uh, and you know, again, you can verify that when I subtract 30 from here, we get 48.4, which again, we're gonna round it to 48. And we're going to say, okay, we need 48 more um, adult Americans. Now they are telling us to round up. So I wonder if they need us to do 49 or will they accept 48? So let's check. And it looks like they want us because if they're telling us to round up. So since you had 78.4, um, since you had 0.4 here, so we can round this up to 49 people. So let's try that. And you know, sometimes it can be something as simple as that, which can um, affect your answer. So just be careful, you know, read the instructions. And again, since they specifically told us to round up, we have rounded up. Um, alrighty, so this takes care of part A and pretty much you're following the same uh, calculations for part B. So let's go ahead and clear up some of these numbers because honestly, the only thing that's changing is our P value. Um, in this formula. So I'm going to keep everything else the same and I'm just going to change, you know, once we know what our p value will come out to be. So let's go ahead and clear all of this out and let's plug in the new percentage. So that is going to be 20%. And if you have 20% as a decimal, that will of course become 0 0.20 or basically 0 0.2. So 0 0.2, 0 0.2 here, and then let's see what that comes out to be. Um, we'll go back to our calculator and let's move this guy in here again. And we need to clear everything out and start over. So you're doing one minus 0 0.2, which of course will come out to be 0 0.8. And then we multiply that with the 0 0.2. And of course, as you can see, that will come out to be 0 0.16. So we are dividing 10 by 0 0.16. And again, I'm going to just save this in our memory. And then we're going to do 10 divided by, and then recall our memory. So we've got 0 0.16. And then we will go ahead and find that answer. And you can see this is coming out to be 62.5 people. So again, they're telling us to round up. So, um, sorry, 62.5 will actually become 63 people. So 62.5 will be 63. And then again, remember to subtract that original random sample of 30 people from here. So we'll subtract um, 30 from 63, which will of course end up giving us 33 more people we need in our um, survey. So again, you've got subtract 30, which will give you 32.5, but again, round up, which gives you 33, and that's going to be part B. All righty, I hope that um, this um, helps you out in simplifying question number 12. Good luck, guys. Take care.